Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at a pretty interesting little voice recorder here. So this could be really useful if you wanted to, you know, record something without, you know, too many people knowing what you're doing, specifically audio recording. So this could be quite useful if you needed to gather some information without intruding too much with your phone or any other recording device. So let's take a closer look. Alright, so this one comes in this box here and it just has a few pictures around the side and kind of it tells you you know where you could use them things like that let's go ahead and open this thing up so the box real feels really nice kind of apple like here and here we can see right on top we have the actual recording device let's go ahead and pull it out here so as you can see guys it's like a keychain that you can clip on to just about anything here and here you can you know put stuff on the end so it looks like this part spins around in circles it's a little bit tight though and it is made out of like this metal chrome so it's quite shiny and reflects really easy so here we have an 8 GB sticker so I guess that's the internal memory then we have an on and off switch here on one side and looks like we have a headphone jack here so on the other side here we have a plus and minus so I'm guessing that's for the volume probably and that's about it it's pretty simple and you can tell guys the size is not huge but you know it's definitely got a good size to it it's not tiny it's quite large I would say so yeah that's that let's go ahead and see what else is in this box here okay so it does come with headphones looks like so even though this is an audio recorder you can kind of I guess mask it as a player an mp3 player so that's kind of cool we'll figure out here in a little bit what kind of options we have can we use this as an mp3 player or is this strictly a voice recorder so okay so we do have a cable here so it's a usb to like a cell phone jack there and i think this is for charging it because there's no other plugs but this here so i guess this hole the headphone jack hole here is for charging also which i guess this goes in there and then you plug this into the charger so let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it does okay so it did start charging and it looks like it's blinking red so I'm guessing that's indicating charge so I'm just gonna leave it on the charger here and let's see so we do have a manual and the manual here is quite long and there's definitely a lot to read here so I'm gonna go over it really quick and see if I can get a better idea of what's going on here and maybe we can we can see if we can power it on and use it but here are the technical specs that might be quite interesting. So here it kind of shows you the format that it records in and how much it can record. Looks like 96 hours of recording. And looks like the battery can record for 20 hours straight. So that's quite good. And it looks like we have quite nice quality on the recording file. So and it does work with Windows and Mac OS. So after looking at the manual for a little bit here, this thing is actually quite clever. So if you power the device on, just turn it from off to on it'll go straight into recording mode on its own and so the little LED light will blink and then go away and you know act like it's off and it's going to continue recording now if you plug in some headphones into this jack here and you have it off and you turn it on what it's going to do is it's going to act like an mp3 player so instead of recording it'll try to find the files that's in there that it can play as a music file but not the recorded files that are saved. In order to play the recorded files that are saved, you have to do a pretty special thing. You have to switch it on and then you have to press the plus and minus button together at the same time for three seconds. And then it'll go to that file, to the, to the recorded file. So unless you know that, there's no way you can access that, you know, if you just randomly found this thing and you didn't have a manual. So that's quite clever. And what it does, it reserves to playing, you know, the music files that you put in there. It's kind of like, I guess it's a decoy, or unless you want to use it as, you know, an MP3 player, you could throw some music in there or whatever, and it'll reserve to that, which I thought was pretty neat and clever. So, so I think it does a pretty good job of, you know, concealing itself as kind of more of an MP3 player than a voice recorder, even though this is a you know high quality voice recorder here so. and so the rest of the directions are kinda like how to navigate the mp3s and the files it kinda tells you how to charge you know charge while recording you can record and listen at the same time so if you turn it on and it starts recording you can after that plug in headphones and then you can listen to it record 
And here under recording verification, if you click the plus and minus buttons together while they're recording, it'll give you one little red flash indicating that it's still on. So because this thing turns off completely while it's recording, I guess if you wanted to make sure, but technically it's all automatic, so you know as long as this thing's on, it should be recording. So here it kind of explains how to synchronize your time and date, I guess, somehow. So if you wanted to do that, I guess you could. Now they do have a low noise recording mode here also. You can activate by holding the plus button when you first power it on. And then they have another pretty cool option that if you don't want to just continuously record, but only record whenever it hears something. So if it's, you know, a quiet room, it'll not, it'll turn itself off and just wait. So you're just going to hold the uh, minus button when you first power it on, and then it's going to go into that mode. And then it kind of tells you how to delete files, and then you can also do a factory reset, and a bunch of troubleshooting guide here after that. So, so quite straightforward, but you know, definitely will take a little bit of practice to operate this thing maybe. But the easiest part is, you know, if you buy this for recording audio, it's as simple as just powering it on. So, Alright, so I think this thing got a pretty good charge here so far. So right now it's in the off position. So let's go ahead and power it on. I'm just going to toggle it to on. So we do have a red light that comes on. And then it blinks off. So t technically right now we should be recording. And what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to sync the audio that it's recording from this device here to this video. So actually I just realized that there's some more covers here. And that actually looks a lot better underneath there. There's little protector films. You know, it looks to be on both sides. Alright, so we should be still recording. So right now I'm about a foot away from this thing. And the microphone I think is right here. By the toggle switcher. So I'm going to turn it away from me. And see how that sounds. So now I'm about two feet away from the device here. So now I'm going to set it down. About three and a half feet or so. Now I'm going to move myself farther away from this place. So I'm about four feet right now. This is about five feet or so. This is about six feet or so. Now I'm about seven feet away. And I would say about this is about eight feet away, maybe a little more. So I'm quite far away from it now. And I'm talking pretty gently. Not very loud. So I'm hoping you can still pick us up. Alright, so hopefully we got some good audio there and what we're going to do next is we're just going to turn it off and that should just save our file and power off. And there we go. So we just made a file by powering it off. So the next part I want to try is the low noise recording mode. So I'm not sure exactly what that means. It's more sensitive or what, but what we got to do is when we power it on we have to hold the plus until the red light comes off so so let's go ahead and power it on and hit the plus and hold it so I'm holding the plus and it goes off okay so it did give us another blink there so I think I did that right so supposedly right now it's in low noise recording mode so I'm not sure what that means but let's just go ahead and set it over here again and uh, so I'm about three feet away right now and now about four feet and now about five feet. So we'll see if there's any kind of difference between the low noise there and the normal mode. So yeah guys, that's quite a unique little piece here. In any case, uh, I'm still on. I'm going to go ahead and power it off. And that should be the other file there. Alright, so the last thing to try is these headphones. So these are quite generic, as you can see. Little buds here. So technically you could use these, you know, to listen to what you're recording instead of actually listening to mp3s but I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in just like that and power it on and see what happens okay so the interesting part is guys is that there's actually two songs already on here so if you hold the plus and minus buttons it just it does the volume if you just tap on it it goes to the previous and next song looks like so I just clicked on that it goes to the next song so there's actually music already in here there's two songs in here so you're pretty much set. You don't have to put anything in here for that. So that works quite well, actually. And you can see the little blue flashing there, indicating it's using it as an MP3 player here. So if you wanted to listen to what you've recorded, 
it's quite simple. You plug in your phone, you turn on the device, so once it comes on, it actually starts automatically playing the music that's on here. So after that, what you're going to do is you're going to push the plus and minus together for three seconds, and now it's switched to the recording of the voices in here. So right now I can hear what I've recorded. And let me tell you guys so far what I can hear just from headphones here that it's quite impressive but you guys will hear it on the video because I'm going to put the actual sound from here so you've already heard it and to me at this point it sounds quite impressive for being you know such a small device and able to pick me up so far away so that's actually quite interesting and definitely quite unique so yeah guys this is pretty much everything it comes with you get your charging cable slash you know connecting cable to the computer you get the actual play the recorder here or slash player and you get some little generic headphones here to go with that. The little hole here that you see is actually not the mic like I thought in the beginning but that's actually the LED. I'm not sure exactly where the mic is but it's actually very good and it seems to be picking me up quite far away so so this seems like a very nice little device for what it's intended to do and you know this could actually clip on you know anywhere technically guys can clip this to their jeans or whatever their pants shorts and you know hang their keys off of this <laughs> You know, and this could be like a little player technically. And you know, women can clip this on their purse or something, and you know, clip keys on it also or whatnot else. So, and kids could clip this on their backpacks as you know, little players if you did want to, you know, record your kids' activities and see what they're up to. But in any case, that's what this device does, and it seems to be very nice. So I got this one from Amazon and it actually has very good reviews and I can see why because it definitely delivers on what it's supposed to. So if you guys are interested in this device I'll leave some links in the description. Check that out. If you enjoyed this video then hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this and you're not subscribed to this channel then hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of reviews and other interesting things so stay tuned for more. And as always thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.